This is Titanfall 2 running on a 3.4 gigahertz Intel Core i5 7500 with 8 gigs of RAM and a 4 gig NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti video card. So we are running right now 1080p resolution. I've got the field of view turned all the way up and I've got it running on a high setting. I turned a lot of this kind of stuff down a little low, but it's, it's a, somewhere between a high medium to a, uh, a low high setting. So let's get to the game, have some fun and see how it runs. to extend the bridge to the rings. I have marked it on your HUD. It appears that whatever actions you took in the past have caused the remaining automated security systems to be quite hostile towards us in the present. It 
appears that whatever actions you took in the past have caused the remaining automated security systems to be quite hostile towards us in the present. Anderson discovered, the IMC intend to destroy the militia planet of Harmony using the full-scale version of this weapon. Pilot Cooper, our journey is far from over. We must get this data to the fleet. Okay, so... This should give an idea of how well Titanfall 2 runs on the i5-7500 with the GTX 1050Ti. Um, it actually looks pretty good. Um, definitely a solid solid frame rate. This is a game that's pretty pretty forgiving of, of uh, specs. So if you want to play something fun that looks good, um, this, is, this, is, uh, this is pretty much it. Um, look at that. It looks amazing. Most newer games don't look this good, even on higher-end hardware. So, anyway, I hope you guys find this interesting and informative, and thanks for watching the video.
Scans detect minimal power functionality. It may need repairs. Caution. I'm picking up multiple contacts. <laughs> 